A swiftly advancing wall of iron-helmeted Celtic giants descended on the Norman lines, screaming their battle cries to the rhythmic squealing of bagpipes. The turbulent history of medieval Europe always called for abled and skilled warriors. Wars and battles depended on the ability of the soldiers, and a man who was skilled with a sword was a sought-after commodity. This gave rise to mercenaries, warrior elites that excelled in the craft of bloodshed. Some of these mercenaries arose in Scotland, Ireland and England and were called the Galloglass. Each man carried a huge battle axe, and their momentum, bulk and determination carried them easily through the first Norman ranks as they skillfully wielded their terrible weapons to deadly effect. The Galloglass were descendants of 10th century Norse Viking settlers from Norway. They then intermarried with the local population in Argyll and the Western Isles of Scotland, but later they became more known as Irish mercenaries. The Galloglass were a class of elite mercenary warriors and were members of the Norse Gael clans of Ireland and Scotland between the mid-13th century and late 16th century. Their weapons were swords and axes. They were round shields and were more armored than the common soldier at the time. They often had a servant that kept their weapons and armor in good condition and a boy to carry provisions. Throughout the Middle Ages in Ireland and Scotland, Galloglass troops were maintained by Gaelic Irish and Hibernorn Norman lords alike. Even the English Lord Deputy of Ireland usually kept a company of them in his service. The Galloglass were seen as heavily armored, trained infantry to be relied upon as a strong force in the center of a battle or defense for holding a position. In battle, the Galloglass were fierce fighters and feared by the common soldiers if they happened to fight against them. In the late 13th century, most Galloglass soldiers were native Irish, and the term came to mean a type of warrior rather than any ethnic designation. The first record of Galloglass service was in 1259, when Aido Conquebear, King of Connacht received a dowry of 160 Scottish warriors from the daughter of Dougal MacRodri, the King of the Hebrides. When the Normans invaded Ireland, their advance was stopped near Carrick on Shannon in 1270. O'Conquebert had put his Galloglass mercenaries to good use and slaughtered the Norman force swiftly. They left scores of the Normans dead, and others in full retreat. The victors saw to their own wounded and slain, then leaned on their blood-spattered axes to rest. 
They had earned their pay this day. They were mercenaries, universally known and feared as the Gallo Glass. <laughs>